Hi, this is uh, an issue that we ran across. It was uh, with uh, in a new install of WordPress and uh, on an IIS server 2012. And our issue was some of the pages that we were going to, we were getting a 404 file or directory not found. But in some cases, uh, some pages did work. Um, and, but not in this case, uh, I picked the wrong one there. So, um, and also uh, the images uh, were, were broken. In this case, we had fixed it, but I'll show you if uh, some of the new images that you uh, posted on, uh, uh, you uploaded and put on a page, they were just, they would look like they were uh, in the media library, but they actually were not, uh, were not, you were not able to post them onto a page. So. I've detailed that in a blog, all the issues that we ran through, but I'm also going to videotape it and um, uh, record it in this session here. So the way we fixed it, um, the first thing to do was that um, we'd gone into our perma uh, permalink settings and switched this to custom and put that code in there again you can find this all this code on our pay on our uh, blog at easyitsupport.com and uh, we saved that and once we did that a few of the pages were working that's why it wasn't working earlier so i've already fixed this issue so uh, you have to bear with me um, i'm going to step through this to, uh, hopefully this will help you I'd go back to the page. Let's see if this one should work now that I have that in there. That was a quick way to test if this was, uh, if you're having the same issue. And uh, again, some of the pages, now this one up here, oddly would not work. And you can see it's just spinning there. And after about uh, a minute, this will time out. So, and you'll get the same error. So what we did Um, we switched it back to uh, one of the themes to see if that was working and it was still broke so we think this is more related to uh, the WordPress installation. Uh, next we went to um, IIS and um, you have to make sure that the uh, a URL rewrite rule is uh, installed. So first you have to go to the directory where your site is installed and um, on the configuration page make sure that that is installed. If it's not, you go to uh, get the, um, uh, you can go to the web, the Microsoft platform installer and install it. It's a simple install. Basically you do a couple next, next, next. If you don't have that in IIS, you have to go to um, you have to go to Microsoft and download it. And again, there's the link right there, and that will get you the web platform installer. And within there, you um, click on it, and we had to just search for URL rewrite, and we found it in the list. And uh, at that point, just leave it there. Next thing you do is you go to the web config file and add all this code. So I'll do it now. Basically, that in between the uh, we only had a little bit in here, so but we put it below the security, and um, again, it's all that code right there. Whoops, right in there, and make sure you save it. Do an IIS reset.
do a refresh on your site. Uh, before you do that, you have to go back to your permalinks settings. Change this to post names. Now we'll get this do a refresh here. Courses. There you go. Now they now everything should open. Yep, as it does now. Some of the images that were broke. If you're having the same issue, it seem to be related to this same thing. Basically, you add this code. To a file this HT access file if you don't have this you have to create it by basically just going new into it within file Explorer go new text just give it that exact name and then you'll have to whack off the um, dot txt off the end of it so this is the file add that code save it that's why our images are working now. Do another IIS reset. And hopefully that will fix it. That's what fixed it for us. There's a lot of information out there uh, that uh, we used that was very helpful. And we basically pieced uh, a lot of the of all the pieces out there on the web together to come up with this tutorial. If you need any help, you can go to easyitsupport.com. That's E-A-S-Y-I-T-support.com.